Well, I was just sitting here wiring up these two H bridges for a new project that I'm working on. And I thought I would show you a couple of tips for working with modules, circuit boards. You know, you get these things very inexpensively. I get them from eBay, uh, ordering, ordering them from China. So they're great, great inexpensive things. But here's a couple of tips that you might want to use. The first is whenever you open up one of these modules and take them out, you'll notice that they have unfinished edges, sometimes very rough, and this is fiberglass. And this stuff, it, maybe it doesn't bother you, but it, um, it just gets all in my fingers, gets in my hands, I rub it on, I get it on my face, I hate it. So the first thing that I do when I open one of these up is I just get some cheap super glue and I very carefully, let's see if I got this centered up, I very carefully just put a little dab on the edge and I just run it down. You don't want much because you don't want to get it on the components. You just run it down the edge, and what this does is it completely encapsulates all that fiberglass dust and a little fiber sticking out and all that stuff. And then it won't make you itch. Well, it won't make me itch like it does. So I just run that around the edge and I just set it down and let it dry and it takes about 10 minutes it'll be good good and dry the other tip is how to mount these things you can buy standoff kits which I use when I when I do something really nice but when I'm prototyping something a lot of times I'm just putting things down on wood so to make standoffs all I do Let's get a piece of this. This is just vinyl tubing, and then I get my cutters and I cut off about a 3 16 3 16 inch piece of vinyl tubing. And then I have found that almost all of these modules come with three millimeter holes, and this is a number four wood screw, and it will fit through that three millimeter hole. So then all I do, which is what I've done here, is I just stick that, stick that under there. The, the, the size doesn't have to be exact because they squish, they squish down. So you just put that in there and I don't even use a drill, you know, I just squeak, put that in there and then I, Screw it down until I see it compress a little bit. And I know that it's tight. And there you go, you got some, you know, ah, that's a little tighter than it needs to be. You got some good, inexpensive standoffs. Save your money for uh, the nice ones when you get ready to do your final project. Actually, this can be a final project. I have projects these things have been working on for for years, no reason not to do that if you're mounting it on wood. Okay, so there's just a couple of circuit board module tips. Seal your edges, cut a piece of vinyl. I mean, this stuff is, you know, 10 cents a foot. Use these, you can make standoffs. Number four screw, yeah, yeah number four wood screws. All right, hope that helps. I know I use it all the time.